Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain you some additional details regarding the PyTest by running some test methods using PyTest. So let's get started. Just to explain these additional details for you regarding PyTest, I am going to run these test methods for you. So what are the additional details? These are the additional details that I am going to cover in this session. Okay, these details that I have not covered in the previous sessions of this PyTest series, I'm going to cover here by running some test methods for you. First one is editing the configuration and running the tests. So till now, we have run this particular uh, test with the help of PyTest from the terminal, right? By writing this command PyTest, okay, here we have typed the command PyTest and uh, hyphen RA or something we have given and all the test methods got run. But here we have run the test from the terminal, right? What if I have to run this particular test, run this PyCharm ID options? For that, I have to edit the configurations. How to edit the configuration here? We can see some main option here on the PyCharm ID. Click on this and select edit configurations. And now click on plus and select PyTest. And here under the uh, target, select this option and uh, expand this project that is sample project expand the current project under pycharm projects sample project expand expand this uh, uh under this project what is there sample package package name is there so you can select this uh, sample package and uh, say okay the place where you can see the uh pytester test uh, test python files and you know test methods right that path you select here Similarly, working directory also do the same thing. Select this, expand the uh, expand the package, select the package and say okay. That's it. Here two places we give the place. Say okay. Now, here some other configuration came. Like this, we can edit the configurations and now we can run the test. Click on this run option. Now we have run the three tests. You see, one failed to pass. Not using the PyTest command, but rather using some options in PyCharm ID by editing the configurations. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Here, three tests got run. You see, collected three items. So, first one got passed, sample one got passed, sample two got failed, and third one got passed. Okay, like this, we'll get the information. Here, the other way of running the test with the help of PyTest is editing the configuration in PyCharm IDE and running from there. So this is one thing I wanted to explain as part of this session. Now, what is the other one? Let me explain. So we can also run the particular Python files having the test methods also. So here, under this sample package, we have only have one Python file, right? I'm going to create one more Python file. So I'll right click here and say new and uh, select the Python file. I'll say test underscore. Here I'll give the Python file name that is sample file two. I'll say press enter. Now we have two files. One is a sample file, sample file two. Under the sample file two, I'll create a method def sample okay sample uh, file to something like that i'll give and say print inside sample file two one here i'll convert this into test underscore okay so that pi test can run it now if i go to terminal clear it out and type pi test here hyphen ra all the four tests will run Three tests are inside the sample file. All right, three test methods are there in this uh, test sample file, Python file, and one test method is there in the sample file two, test underscore sample file two. So four will run, four out of four will run, when that one will fail and three will pass. What if I want to run only this particular test method in this sample file two dot py file? For that, I have to go to the location where these Python files are available. They are under the package, right? So here, uh, my current uh, control uh, or current uh, directory is sample project. There is a project name. Under the project, we have to go to the package name where that particular Python file is available. Sample package. 
under the sample package, I want to run only this Python file having this test method. For that, I'll write something like this PyTest. Okay, I have to give the name of the Python file that I want to run. I don't want to run that three test methods from the sample file. Rather, I want to run only this test method from the sample file too. So test underscore sample file two five dot py. You see only one test got run. This this how flexible the PyTest commands are. Okay. We can go to the package and in that package, select the Python file that you want to run. Only that test methods in that particular Python file only will run, not all the test methods in all the Python files. Okay. So much of flexibility. So if you want to change the package CD package name and then run the PyTest commands. Okay. Only the uh, Python files which are under that particular package will run. Okay. For example, here, here under the sample package, we have two Python files. I'll create one more package, right click new Python package. I'll say sample package two. I'll say under this, I'll create a file, Python file test underscore. I'll say uh, sp2, spt or something. Okay. SPT, I'll say SPT to press enter. So here I'll create a method test underscore SPT one print inside test SPT one. Now I'm in which package? Sample package. But this is sample package too. This is not going to run. Okay. From here, if I say PyTest, PyTest hyphen RA means all the Python files having the test methods under this sample package only will run. Okay. Under the sample package two, it will not run. Four test methods should run now. Five should not run, only four should run because it is running the Python files and test methods from the sample package like that. Okay. CD product will go back. If you want to run the Python file, which is under this package, then go to that particular package, sample package to have to say CD sample package to now here, say PyTest hyphen RA. Only one test will run. Only one test is there inside this particular Python file under this package. Only that will run. What if I go to the project location and type all the test methods under all the packages of this project will run. Okay. Because I am at that level. So here I will see simply write down CD dot dot CD. So I am under the project directly. I don't want to go to any package, but I will write PyTest hyphen RA. All the PyTest will run. You see total five got run. Not only from this package, but also from this package. Okay. Like that. We can decide. Okay. We can go to a particular package and run the test or from the project level. Also, we can run the test which are in multiple packages. Also, we can run. Now let's understand some results. Okay, some additional results things I need to cover, which I have not covered in the previous session. When I have run this particular thing, that is uh, here I have run I test hyphen RA, you see some, some results are coming. You see from test sample file dot F dot. Here dot is in green color, F is in red color. There are three tests from the sample file dot py. Okay, sample file dot py has three test methods. In that first one got passed, second one got failed, third one got passed. This is what is the representation. And uh, in the sample file two, we have only one test that got passed. In this another package, that is sample package two, we have test SPT in that only one test method is there and that two got passed. Okay, this is a representation of uh, which test got passed and failed. Okay, so this is some additional information in the output that you have to understand. Okay. So this thing I have not covered dot and dot stands for uh, the green dot stands for pass and F stands for capital F in red color stands for fail like that. Okay. Here out of all the tests, one got failed that came in capital F here and remaining all came in the form of dots from the different files under different packages. So hope guys you understood uh, this additional details about the pi test. Okay. That I covered by running some other tests for you, test methods for you in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.